All right, good freaking morning, good evening, good night, whatever time of day it is, where you are. I hope it is great. I am Leslie, I'm an ER nurse. Still so crazy to say I am in week four of my residency, but that is not what this is about. We'll give you so much more updates on that in another video. But today, let's talk about it. So cut straight to the point. People relate to results. I know I relate to results, so let's get it over with. The big reveal, quarantine body 2020. Bing, right here. Hopefully it's showing right here. Yeah, okay, great. So I have been MIA, I've been working my freaking butt off um, and finally found something that I absolutely love, something I'm so passionate about. And that is health and wellness. Who would have thought? Um, I have, I think on my Instagram, I talk a lot about mental health and it's kind of transitioned over to overall health and wellness. As I started my fitness journey, when COVID hit, I like kind of lost my mind. I'm a very big people person. Um, I love being around people that was not possible anymore. Um, I kind of like placed my purpose and my job and my job got delayed, so I thought I had no idea what was going on. What am I going to do with my life? Oh my gosh, I'm never going to be an ER nurse, blah, 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 all that stuff. But I just want to talk about my health and fitness journey really quick. Life Limitless, my new team, and I just, I just love it. So a lot of people ask, how'd you do this? How'd you get started? Um, what keeps you going? And my number one thing which I'll probably make a entire video series about this is accountability. If you do not have someone who is keeping you accountable, like that was a game changer for me, the accountability and the community. I was listening to a Trent Shelton podcast. If you have not listened to him, you gotta go, you gotta do it right now. But he said, people in your circle are not always in your corner. People in your circle are not always in your corner. And that was kind of just like a gut check for me of like, lots of people know that I want to get healthier. I do want to lose weight. Um, and the people that I surround myself with, people I've been very good friends with for a very, very long time, didn't really understand that and what it meant for me specifically. Um, I'll have people when we go out, um, maybe I go to dinner and I order nachos and they're like, oh, but aren't you a health and wellness coach? Like, why are you eating that? Because guess what? A volcano could erupt right now. A meteor could hit the earth and we would all die. And guess what? No one cares about the size jeans I wear. So I'm eating the nachos. No one cares if I have the nachos. That's not the point. I'm talking accountability with people who truly understand you, people who are going through the journey right now, people who have gone through it. And I think my thing was, you know, the first thing you do when you get on your health and fitness kick is go to YouTube, go to Instagram. We search weight loss journey and we see all of these amazing people who have kicked total butt. I, I swear on here. I don't know why I just didn't. Um, who've just like totally kicked ass in their health and fitness journey. And you're like, wow, I see how they went from no six pack to a six pack, but that'll never be me. Like, I don't have a six pack right now, don't have a flat stomach right now. And it was so hard for me to relate to those people. And it was so hard for me to kind of understand that I could go on my own health and fitness journey without looking how they look right now. So my big thing with starting Life Limit Limitless and starting building my own team and coaching and mentoring others through their health and wellness journey is like, you see me right now. And I am right in the middle of, of my journey. My highest weight was probably 260, 265. Your girl was a happy little roly poly -oly, living my best life. But I was just like, there's got to be more. And then my lowest adult weight was probably, I think I got down to 180, 185. But what was still missing was that community and that accountability. I got there 
I didn't work on my mental, like my psyche. So when I got to that weight, I still hated what I saw when I looked in the mirror. I still said mean, awful, disgusting things to myself when I looked in the mirror that I would not say to anyone else. And I was just missing the community and the people to share my wins with and to share my struggles with. So that's why I was like, all right, we gotta do this. I'm not where I was either way biggest, highest weight, lowest weight, but I am not where I was when I started again. I started working out again in May. I think May 3rd was my official start date. I jumped into a challenge group and I was like, I'm doing this, I'm going all in. Like, we're stuck in the house, we're bored in the house, we're in the house bored, might as well. I can move my body for 30 minutes a day. I can do it. I go and I work for 12 hours usually 13, serving complete strangers as a nurse, wiping butts, helping people get to the bathroom, doing CPR, giving blood products, drawing blood, all of this. And I do this for complete strangers, which I love. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone into the profession. But how am I going to work for 13 hours and be the nurse, the best nurse I can be and not be able to spend 30 minutes on myself? You go home, after a 12 hour shift and you come home and you don't work on yourself, you're not tired, you're uninspired. Favorite quote ever. You can spend your entire day working for someone else, other people, and you come home or you don't start the day working on your own dreams, your own goals, where you say you wanna go. You're not tired, you're uninspired. So find that group of people who inspire you. Find the group of people who just push you to be better and just, everything changes. Like it's, it's insane. So we, I finally have my own team, super excited. Um, and I call us our team, our accountability pages. We have a Facebook accountability page and an app through the virtual workouts that we do. And we do daily check-ins. We talk about our favorite personal development, um, podcasts, books, read 10 pages a day, um, things that we're doing for ourselves outside of health and fitness. And just finding, I, I didn't have the community where I could talk freely and openly or felt like I could talk freely and openly about my struggles with my self-worth, my struggles with my mental illness and my diagnosis. And um, wow, that's out there on the internet. Hello. Um, <laughs> I felt like I didn't have a space to talk about that freely. And 90% of the people that I coach and mentor, I have never met, but they are my closest friends. It's like, hey, Wednesdays, highs and lows. What were your wins for this week? What were your lows? We celebrate our wins together and we work through our struggles together and that is just like so life-changing. So I didn't have that space, so I decided, you know what, we're gonna use our on-demand workouts. Lots of people have challenge groups, but I wanna run mine differently. We're talking about mindset. We're talking about our relationship with food. The smallest I've ever been, thought I was so happy, but also thought I could get smaller. I had an eating disorder. I only ate apples and drank water, it was awful. And I kind of ruined the way that I thought about myself and my self image for years and years and years and years and years. And it's just, you gotta love yourself. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else to just like express how important that is. But if you don't love yourself right now, you're not gonna love yourself when you get to where you say you wanna go. So if you are ready to get started on your health and fitness journey. If I can inspire just one freaking person, I feel fulfilled. So I have a form down below. Let me know, fill it out. It's no obligation. I just wanna chat. Let's see what you wanna do, where you wanna go, what your goals are, how we can reverse engineer and work backwards from those. And if it's something you're interested in, let's get you freaking started. I want to publicly broadcast my journey while it's happening so I'm not just another person who's like hey look I had a flat stomach but now I have flat stomach with abs it's like you see me hustling you see me crying if you don't already 
follow me on Instagram. I hustle, I cry, I work out, I cry some more. I journal about my day like I am a 14 year old girl and my life has never been better. But I am so glad to finally be back on YouTube. Took some time away, much needed. Um, but we're going through a lot of changes right now in the world. I'm going through a lot of changes right now in my life. Um, lost lots of close family members um, to me recently and there's just, there's just something about realizing how non-permanent, how fragile, how fleeting life is to really just like set a fire under your ass to get freaking going. Like I'm, and we'll talk about, uh, this is gonna be a whole great series. So we will talk about your why, why people who start on their health and fitness journey are usually unsuccessful because you don't have a why. No one wants to get up at four in the morning, five in the morning, before work, after work, and work out if they don't have a greater reason of why they're doing it. I'm not a mom yet, but I want to be the best parent I can be. Um, lots of moms that I work with, they're like, I want to be there for my children. I want to see my children go to high school dances. I want to be able to see my children have children. For me, it's like, I can't show up as the best nurse. I can't show up as the best girlfriend. I can't show up as the best daughter that I can be without working on myself. So we'll talk about your why. We'll talk about highs and lows. We'll do it all. But here it is. Your girl's on a health and fitness journey and she's loving it. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys so super soon. I promise coming up soon. I'm reapplying for my home loan. Wow. Homeowners by Christmas is literally on my brain. So hard on my heart. So hard. Um, I can't believe that I am next week will be week five as an ER nurse. What? Um, and just lots of life changes. I, oh, wow. I finally have a 720 credit score. If you guys have watched my journey about my big savings goal, um, that is included in there. I started at a credit score of what, 500, 540, something like that. And your girl's, she's all over the place, but this is real. This is me. We're doing a health and fitness journey. Join me. There's a link below. Let's chat.